so we all became friends freshman year, like a lot of people. Yeah, we've all lived together in varying degrees too. So like me and Dan were freshman roommates and then me, Tema, Dan, and another friend lived together sophomore year. And then this year, Karina and Dan lived together. And me and Tema are RAs, well, we're RAs in the same building, so. Yeah, so it was like we lived together. And I think most of us, or not all of us, have been like together every summer of BU. So this is like probably the longest time we've ever been apart. So like this is like definitely a new frontier for our friend group. I think all of us are trying really hard to do stuff together. Like uh, mm-hmm. Dan frequently sets up a, a Zoom where he screen shares and we do um, the New York Times crossword together. You know, I, I would love to participate more in the crossword, but my friends are very smart and get them before I can even read. <laughs> but it also feels different because you know, being together and like having that physical touch and like, you know, hugging and just like laughing. We don't know if like we're gonna get that, especially since we're seniors, like to get to do that again. I miss going to the gym with Dan. Mm. Me and Dan had a really fun gym routine that we were doing and we were being really good about it this semester. Yeah, I feel like the biggest things are just like the little kind of moments. Like me and Karina were roommates, so we'd always used to like cook dinner together. I miss that. I guess we could do that over Zoom, but it's just not like <laughs> obviously. <laughs> it's difficult to, I guess, not go a little crazy and like stay a little positive because it's really easy to like just read Twitter all day and read really depressing things about how many people in Italy died and how many people in the US died. Like this is kind of a survival time for a lot of people. Um, so it feels weird to then kind of indulge in, in that sort of like memory, like memory lane trip on top of it. There's life and death issues out there right now, so it's a weird it's a weird place to be in where it has to kind of get tabled. This is like just like this huge global moment, and it's like kind of weird to be living through it. But it's nice to have like a community that's like also kind of processing it at the same time. This friend group specifically is very formative for each one of us to become like the people we are, and like to get to the places we've been because we've all gone through like separate kind of things, but we all have helped one way or the other. And like for me personally, without these people, I wouldn't like be like where I am and like who I am. And we're gonna make the best out of it. So this has just shown like, yeah, it's still we can still be friends. We don't have to all be in Boston or be at BU or um, have classes together or whatever. Like because it's more than that and more long-lasting than that. I know that when this is all over in, in whatever way that it ends and whenever it ends, like I'll see these, I'll see, I'll see all of my friends again. I'll see these people again. I will see other people that I've been friends with and coronavirus won't be forever, but my friends will be around forever for the most part. And I don't, I, yeah, I don't think coronavirus can change what friendship is for any of us.